Hey, Red. We're not gonna get away with this, are we? Come on, pull. There. Together again. Sort of. Well? Right, okay, so this is Transistor, the new indie game from Supergiant Game. Found us already. They want you back, I bet. Well, so do I. Born again. Nice. So you then have to... Okay. So it looks like you've got to kill these enemies, oh, and basically you've got to grab their cores before they respawn. I think I know where we are. So this is one of the things interesting about this game is basically you can pause the action and go to a mode like this and essentially you can map out your movements and then unleash them all in a, in a flurry of destruction. That bar on the top uh, you can see will deplete as I move and, and key up moves and uh, I can only key up as a, a certain amount of movements and, and moves and attacks before I have to initiate them and carry them out. It's, it's a really interesting system and I didn't actually know much about this, uh, this kind of combat going into it but just to show you in practice and you can move there and then initiate another attack and this attack slices through enemies attacking multiple foes at once and I've pretty much used up all my uh, my points there so then I can then execute the plan and it's all badass but the only trouble is I'm kind of left open now while my uh, my sword recharges or whatever the hell it is you want to call this. Now. So hopefully we'll eliminate that. Hopefully keep away with this thing. There we go, got that one so it doesn't respawn. There we go, got that last one and grab it before it respawns. We're clear. So yeah, all the fights are kind of divided into these little little kind of skirmishes. You have one kind of little scrap and then you, you get your stats and your experience points and your rank. Hey, up there. Hello world. Look at all that. We're on the edge of town, a hundred blocks away. There's the empty set. Still too close to it. We better get as far from there as possible. Now the whole game's kind of got a real sense of mystery about it. I'm not sure if this is a, a city or whether it's a computer program or, or anything like that. I have actually been playing through Transistor. I've kind of done the first level, uh, so I've done all these bits before, but most of the game's still pretty new to me, so that'd be good as we go through. So you can still fight in real time, but that uh, that, that fucking time stopping ability is pretty damn interesting. She awake. Hi. You okay? I see. Sure. She wants to come along. We can use her. Intersection. Let's see. So there's a new ability. She says hello. Ah, so like... Her name's Lillian. So yeah, it's, it's really weird. These these people that you keep finding seem to grant you new abilities, and again, I'm not sure if this is a real city or whether it's a computer system. It, it, I don't really know a lot about the story. It's, it's quite a bit of a... Hey, end of the plaza. It's you. I'm so sorry, Red. They took your voice. I couldn't stop them. 
something of theirs. Just yeah, let's just go. Come on, just go. So, uh, right off the bat, it's just... Yeah. Right off the bat, it kind of seems like this this girl you're playing as red, as she's described. Oh, shit. She's some kind of singer or some kind of celebrity. Take care of this young lady. Let's go. Oh. Charge. I don't like these things. The one thing I found about this. Take care of it. Side Street, due east. Through there. I think I know a place we could get a ride. So one thing that is interesting there about this character is she's some kind of singer or celebrity, but one thing that is interesting, if you hold down the L1 button, actually she doesn't do it yet, but there's an ability that I'll show you in a bit that you can kind of make the make us stand there and sing this really kind of melancholy tune. It's kind of odd, uh, but it'd be interesting to see how that plays into the story. Ah, right, so this is one of the kind of cool things about uh, Transistor straight away, is that you've got to use this kind of time-stopping uh, ability to solve puzzles. So what you can do is... Do that, move across here, and stab this one, and then let it leash, unleash it even. Bam, straight through. Ah, okay. That who I think it is. Hey, Mr. Boyle, you in there? It's him, all right, but I can barely hear him. New ability. I like that. Oh no. Cut off our escape. Come on then, tough. That'll be a good idea. Too bad. Oh, these things chase you so bad. At least you can outrun them. These aren't too difficult, they just take a punch. There we go. Where they belong. Nice, so I leveled up. So I'm a user level 2. See, everything, there's a lot of evidence to point towards being a, this all setting. A, it's, it's really odd. Uh, Alright, so this is the upgrade system. So basically what you can do is you can select one or two of these upgrades. Um, one of these two. And it lets you apply them to any of your existing... 
so you can kind of have a lot of flexibility on what you can customize so that this first one basically allows your ability to ricochet between targets and this one basically allows you to turn invisible and have a kind of critical hit upon your next ability um, I quite like the ricochet which I'll, I just like the sound of. we're still here look floor oh were you upgraded okay you're in so, you can apply it. So what I'm going to do, is I like my sh shoots through things. The, uh, the breach. Idea of that. So we'll select that. And that's all we've got for now. Just one more block. I want to show you something. Okay, there's a... Wait. Back, 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 back. Nice. I like that uh, ricochet. Okay. Bang. Oh, nice. Damn, this guy's got a lot of health. Here he comes. And he's a lot faster than he was. He really closes the gaps. Oh. I don't like that. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I, I, it's best just to attack them head on with the basic attacks. That crash, that the kind of X attack, is uh, isn't that well. It seems quite powerful, but it's quite short range, and I always kind of overlook it. But I shouldn't really. Yeah, good call. This, this kind of has some similarities to Bastion uh, in that you've kind of got a narrator and it's the same voice actor. His name escapes me at the moment, but... Okay. E64 on ramp. Five blocks down. Take the second right. Do not turn left. And thanks for the lift. So while this is trying to be a very different game from Bastion, it does share some common ancestry and some common themes as that game, which isn't a bad thing because I fucking love Bastion. You turn left. Thought we were gonna skip town. We're going back there. You meant these things. They do not have a sense of humor. They will track you down, wipe you out, and take whatever's left of me back to those two-bit camarada pieces of trash. 